Folks, I'm back playing more multiverses, and today we're looking at a new character that was not in the previous beta, but he seems pretty interesting and cool to me. That's the Iron Giant. This character is very unique. I don't really think I've seen a character quite like this in a fighting game before. So today we are going to run through everything that makes this character unique and sets him apart. And then we're going to hop online and see if we can pull off any clutch plays with the Iron Giant. But guys, before we get into it, if you could hit the like button on the video, if you enjoy this type of content, it really, really seriously helps me out. So I would massively appreciate if you could do that and leave a comment letting me know which character you'd like to see me play next. So let's talk about the Iron Giant. Okay, as you can tell, he is a large boy. I mean, even crouching. We're still larger than like every other character. He's massive. So this can be a bit of a disadvantage. He's a bit easier to combo than most characters. So that's kind of a problem. No attack is ever going to whiff on him. You're always going to get a hit. So it can be hard when you're getting rushed down. But he has a few unique mechanics that are really, really strong. So first of all, he's got this shield. So you can see that this shield is going to absorb enemy attacks, and that's going to use up the bolts. So the more bolts you have, the more hits of armor you have. And the really crazy thing is that you can use this shield even when you're getting hit, or when you're in the middle of attacks, you could activate the shield in the middle to give yourself armor in the middle of whatever you're doing. So this is really a truly strong mechanic this shield the fact that you can do it whenever you want gives you armor it's going to let you land combos because you're going to go through the opponent's attacks i feel like this is maybe the strongest thing he has going but he has to collect bolts to make it work so you do generate some bolts passively over time if you look closely you can see the little two has a little meter that's filling up so we will generate them passively but you can also get them a few other ways by chomping on metal <laughs> you can get bolts he has some attacks that will throw these pieces of metal. You can walk over and pick them up and get bolts that way. And he can also plant this corn. So the teammates can pick up corn and that'll give them some armor, some shield to absorb health. Uh, or he can pick them up himself and he gets bolts from it. So those are your ways of collecting bolts. You're going to want to make sure you keep your bolt count pretty healthy so that you can take advantage of the shield. He has some other meters you're going to have to pay attention to as well. He has a fuel meter. This allows him to fly, so he can only fly as long as he has fuel, then he's going to have to come down. Several of his attacks can use fuel meter as well, like his neutral air. You can see he's going to use a little bit of fuel, and it gives you a little bit of boost off the ground as well. So something really cool about this character is that so many of his moves, he kind of has like full movement control during. So you can do a lot of attacks and walk around or float around as you're doing them. So you have a lot of freedom to keep yourself moving, to keep yourself slippery. You can just walk at the opponent, turn the shield on, and you'll become, you know, like a walking hitbox that they're gonna have to avoid because they're not gonna be able to hit you out of it. And finally, he has one other meter. You can see just above the bolt meter, we have this very interesting meter that's gonna go up as I attack the opponent. You can see I gain a little bit of meter, but also as my teammate takes damage, I'll build this meter as well. So that's the other way that you build up the meters from your teammate taking damage. And then once this meter fills up completely, you'll get this little prompt above your head that says protect friends. <laughs> so let's go into protect friends mode. He's going to activate and basically become a walking tank. We've got access to some new moves now. We can launch barrages of missiles. We can launch uh, some lightning. We can shoot out this orb that's going to trap the opponent if they get hit into it. But the only major downside of going into protect friends mode is you're going to lose access to a lot of your melee normals. They're getting replaced by projectiles, so he can get rushed down in that mode. So it's pretty good to save your bolt armor for when you go into that mode so then you can be protected and get the opportunity to stand back and start spamming some projectiles. So, so this is really an interesting character. I don't think I've ever played too many big bodies like this. He's ostensibly, he's like a tank, right? He's like throwing around big hitboxes. He's using armor to go through the opponent's attacks. He even has a command grab. So he is kind of like a tank, but he's also got this supporting mechanic. He's got this bolt collecting mechanic that he has to deal with as well. He's got the ability to fly and to become like a, a moving hitbox that can fly around and zone the opponents off screen. So uh, he also has this perk which puts firewalls on the screen. So this can be pretty useful as well. This will help you get some excess damage as you light the opponents on fire. So there's just a lot to keep track of with this character. I think he's pretty complicated, but once you start using him well, well, 
I think he's very, very enjoyable. So I'm going to show you guys some matches. I feel like I'm starting to get the, the Pacific Rim mind meld with this character. I'm starting to understand and be able to use him pretty effectively. So hopefully I can show that off for you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching and stick around and watch this hype match footage, you guys. Thank you. Now, Iron Giant, he's pretty aggressive, but it's because he wants to protect his friends. I think that's the thing. Okay, well, our teammate SD'd, not off to a good start. Oof. Oof. I'm actually nasty with, with the giant, dude. I'm actually cracked. <laughs> Invulnerable as ever, I see. All right, missiles out. Oh, nice spike soups. I respect it. All right, double match point. I got to not die. They're making it really hard for me to not die. Let's go! Got him. Got him. Woo! I think I carried, right? Oh, hell yeah, I carried. <laughs> yeah, abso absolutely I did. Let's go. All right, we're going to Trophy's Edge, which is a bigger stage, so I should hopefully be able to take advantage of some of my projectile stuff. That's the idea. And to think that we were All right. Oops, I threw the wrong way. It's fine. Hmm, nice. Oh, uh, let me roll right into the Superman combo. Alright, go protect friends mode. Try not to immediately die from it. Missiles can help you get back on stage, but... Oh, they are really trying to prevent me from doing things. Fire the orb, go hang out by the orb so he gets trapped in it like a dummy. Throw junk at him. Ooh, hit him with the boot. Put down firewall. Activate Spinnerooski. Yo, you just died? No recovery options left? Okay, okay, nice kill by Superman. Yo, he caught me out. All right, let's plant trees. Team trees. Ow. 
activate electricity so we can spin through everything. All right, I need my I need my bolt gauge back before I can go attack helicopter mode here. All right, now we can. Let's fire the orb. Let's fire the ray gun. Zap, zap. Activate the missiles, bro. Oh, stop him, <laughs> guys. Did I go ham? Did I go ham just there in activation mode? Let's go. I think I think that's my best Iron Giant game ever. Ever. The 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 set, I mean, combined. Like Roasty. that was incredible, dude. Yeah, I I think that the the activation mode is really powerful as long as you have like room. If they're like swarming you and you don't have armor ready, it's not very good. So I think it's good to wait until you have the bolt armor prepped before you activate that mode so that you have a way to get them off you. That was sick though. Damn.